Oh well, it's Betty and John Annabel. We uh, moved in here nearly 12 months ago and we love this little house. It's just beautiful, just what we wanted. I think it's just great. We haven't got any complaints. I'm 82, but I only feel like 55 or something. Yeah, yeah. You don't uh, change in your mind, in your attitude, if you can, you know, keep going. That's the way to do it. But Mira Mira Farmer. Yeah. <laughs> Ex Mira Mira Farmer. We were in a big house up in Hardwick Road, and it was just too big for us. We couldn't, we couldn't look after it. I couldn't do the inside and John couldn't do the outside so too it was many, just got too many lawns and steps, too many steps stairs. and too much room. Just too big. When we us. built it there was a lot of people come to look at it you know uh, from agents and that they'd bring them in and have a look before we moved in and you know, everyone thought it was the world on wheels then but see that's 30 years ago nearly. We knew we had to do something you couldn't stay there and like it was too much for Betty and me, you know, it was no good. People used to say, you're going into a retirement village, and John and didn't like that. The last thing didn't I wanted like the to sound do. of that, so I said, well, we'll have to build one if we can't go into a retirement village, so. Once I made up my mind, I was right. It took know. a lot, long time to talk. Yeah, it did, because I'd wake up in the middle of the night and think, what are we doing, you know? Oh, we knew it'd be a bit of a challenge. I mean, you, everything is, and the older you get, I think that, Harder it gets, but it's, we, we're glad we did it. We really are, because I just wouldn't like to go back up there. We drive past sometimes and we think, how did we look after this place? <laughs> it looks so big. <coughs> well, I'd been thinking about it for a while, but John hadn't got to that stage, but I was trying to get him around to it. And I kept saying I wanted to go and have a look through the display homes. and. One day I finally got him there and we went through them all. We didn't really take any notice of which one we were going through. We just went from one to the other and did the whole row. And when we came out from the last, I think Haydar might have been the last one we went to. And I said, that's the nicest one of the whole lot. And we still didn't know who Haydar was because we hadn't heard much about Haydar. And he said, yeah, I think it's great the way they finish everything off. It was mm. really just... It's to stand out to us. The chap who was there that day, I don't know his name, but he said, I'll write, this, write your name down and and then next day you rang up. Next morning you rang up and I, he said, would you like to have a look through one of the hounds? And I said, I would, yes. And, but I couldn't get John to come that day. No, I didn't want to go. But, <laughs> but after I came home well, and had a look at it. She's always right. <laughs> <laughs> I came home after you showing me through them and I said, oh, it was a lovely little home we looked through and we went through two or three, didn't we? And he said, oh, well, I'll come down and have a look. So I took him around and just showed him, you know, roughly what they were like and I said that you'd showed me this block on the corner that was the last one in that street, nearly. And wasn't that a miracle we got it? Yeah. And uh, he said, go and put a deposit on it straight away when we came home. Mm. So I rang you, it was late, wasn't it? It was after hours and I said, could you hold that until tomorrow? And luckily we did because somebody rang up after that, didn't they, and wanted it. So it wasn't real lucky. Oh, we knew we had as well, soon as we, we got started. Of, um, we knew that it was the right thing to do with Haydar because they were so easy to, you know, to... Everyone sort of, was so helpful, you know. There was nothing of trouble. John was oh, here nearly good. every day. I nearly came down every day. <laughs> I think the builders And the brickies knew me and everyone sort of knew me and they'd say, see you tomorrow, John. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be down. No, it was, uh, it was really a good time because we enjoyed seeing it happen and we were getting more excited each time we come down. So It didn't seem to take that long. I mean, it was only five months, wasn't it, from the time we started. So. You couldn't say it took a long time. No. It was good. No, but I enjoyed watching it being built. And everybody, whatever you wanted, they'd do it for you, you know. There was yeah. no mucking around, it was done. They tried to do everything just how we wanted it, and which they did. Well, there was a couple of things that we got them to come and do, but they'd come straight away and, and do it, whatever we asked them. No, there was no problems with anything getting done. Andrew, Andrew yeah. he, he was really He's very good. good. Yeah. He was good and he made sure it was all... He yeah. came here one morning and he said, I bet he said, oh, I've got this big painting to hang up but we don't know how we're going to do it. 
He went and got a few tools out of the car and a few nails and screws and stuff and was up there in the next car. He did work. I didn't expect him to do yeah. it. I hoped he thought I didn't. It was pretty unbelievable. I couldn't, <laughs> it just looked so good and so nice. I just couldn't believe it was all ready to go. It seemed so nice. No, it was lovely. I, I didn't want to change anything after we finally, you know, did the plans. But it just turned out so nice. We're very happy with it. Yeah, I followed it right through, and it was it, it was very good. You couldn't beat it. The weight was all put together and everything. I nearly know half a screws it's in it. <laughs> well, we love everything. Nothing we don't like. It's just so easy to look after, and it's comfortable and it's just got everything in it that you could want or well, you couldn't it seems to be have as much room as what we had in the big home except we haven't got any waste space yeah. <laughs> easy to mm. live in and it's just so nice oh it's yes easy. it's much easier yeah. you know that that garden took it took me a full hour flat out to yeah. do it and uh, when i I'd to get that hot I'd have to help under the shower straight away <laughs> yeah. and, but now I haven't got to do any of that now just now, if we hadn't got this block, there's no other block would have suited Betty like this block. Yeah. It's you know? great here because we don't, the traffic doesn't worry us. No. Oh, and that's marvellous. It's just wonderful because I can go across three times a day if I want to. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm having visitors, I just go out of She's been and... known to go three times in a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, it's so easy and convenient. And oh, I love the little kids running past it in the evening. I like hearing yeah. them all that. They say hello to me. Well, it's so easy to keep nice and tidy and clean. and It, it doesn't seem, it seemed to get, you know, of the other place I was always had something to do all the time. You never finish, but here it's so easy. And it used to take me two days to vacuum the other place and you can do this one in about sort of half an hour, the whole thing. <laughs> very good. Very good. don't know. You look out the door, you go out the door and you think, oh, it's freezing out here and yet inside it's still warm. Even without the heater, we hardly ever put the heater on It'd there. It would be only probably less than half the cost of heating this than the other place. Yeah. Oh, oh well, it's very, very good. quiet. You don't know there's cars out there unless you look through the window. Yeah, yeah third one wow. we've built. And they're all good ones. Yeah. That one at middle was very good. It's not an easy decision to make to build a house because there's so many things can go wrong. And when we built the other house, John was pretty sick. And we used to just come down from Mitter and have a look. And But we never enjoyed it at all. We just didn't. It was a real chore because it was... We didn't get involved like we did with this one and it yeah. didn't feel like it was our house when we moved in. It didn't feel as quite as comfortable as this one. Oh, well, we felt like it was our, our, our little project and we enjoyed it. I used to walk up and down this block and say, how are we going to ever put a house on this? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look big enough for a start. We thought, I don't think they've made the plans right somehow. <laughs> She had me measured it here once. Oh, I used to step it out when every time I'd come down and make sure everything was going to fit. If it was always so easy it, as this, I wouldn't, you know, I'd be able to do it. But uh, at this stage, we don't think we ever will. But we'll never we're glad we did this when we did. We'll be we, this will be where we'll finish up. Yeah. We're very glad we did it when we did it, and we're, you know, so happy with it all. I'd it recommend is. you to anybody, if, if they want a house built, I'd say go and see Travis to start with, and that would be a good start. But, uh, people all get their own ideas. Yeah, well, I don't think they could go past Travis as far as being a, a big help and a confidence booster and everything that he used to help yeah, us with. Yeah, me up a lot of times. <laughs> no, well, it is a big decision. I don't care how, how good you are and how think you've got everything under control there's always something that'll crop up and you just want a little bit extra advice or something and it's it's nice to know you've got someone you can go and talk to and they'll understand and listen to you and that's what I think is so good about Haydar especially Travis. <laughs> I said to that Charlie this morning he's a terrific fellow uh, Travis you know he's just got us on our feet 
from where we were wondering what we are going to do till we met you and then it sort of all started to go so easy. Well, they're so friendly and they seem to all seem to know what exactly what's going on. I mean, it's not like you have to go... And they're and... a fantastic team, you know, the whole lot of them, all, even the young blokes, you know, they're all into it mm. and good. Mm. No, everything just went so smooth and, and we didn't have any... We couldn't think of anything to complain about, so that's... <laughs> It just seemed so easy to just go along with them and all, and I knew what to do. No, it was great. It was a real good, good experience, and I would definitely recommend them to anyone else. I'd say, well, you couldn't get a better ones to do it because they make it as easy as you possibly could get it. They don't have any hassles, and they follow up on everything that you know. They just couldn't make it any easier, no matter who they were. I think they, they do a great job in it. Pretty lucky, I think, to get through this so easily and finish up in a nice little place like this. And everything's just how we want.